Good afternoon. I'm John Stofflet. And I'm Amy Fluxopt in for Lee Mills. Our big story at five, the suspect in a pair of mazomania homicides may have been targeting one of his victims because of a bad breakup. NBC 15's Kate Pavish has details. John and Amy were finding out more information about what led to the shooting deaths of 16-year-old Ariel Brady and 39-year-old Christopher Switchenberg. They were killed Monday night. Now, all of this information is from documents released today as 17-year-old Dean Sutcliffe made his initial court appearance. A criminal complaint shows Mary Brady, the mother and girlfriend of the victims, told police Sutcliffe came into the family's home around 11 and just started shooting. When officers arrived, Sutcliffe was found standing in the middle of the street with his hands up in the air. They say he did not resist arrest, telling officers it was so easy. Why was it so easy? I walked an hour and a half and killed two people. Now, according to the complaint, Ariel Brady's sister used to date Sutcliffe, but they broke up and he blamed Ariel. Her sister told police Sutcliffe threatened to, quote, skin Ariel the night before the shooting. Sutcliffe's younger sister was also questioned. She told investigators on the night of the shooting, Dean looked for the key to their parents' gun safe and then said he was going to a friend's. Now, she told police he left a note saying, Dear Mom and Dad, I'm sorry for what I'm going to do. Sutcliffe is now being held on $2 million cash bond.